breaking Clinton rape victim just knocked Oprah out. Hell yeah. America First by Liberty Bell for FreedomDaily.com. On Sunday night, celebrities gathered on stage during the Golden Globes to pat each other on the back and tell each other how fantastic they are. Of course, there was your typical President Trump bashing by wealthy liberal elitists who think they know better than the average American with the same tired jokes. However, the celebrity brouhaha took an absurd turn when they uh, paraded Oprah Winfrey out on uh, stage to lecture all of white America about sexual abuse and harassment running rampant in the country. Of course, liberal women across the country were fawning all over Oprah's speech, applauding it, strong message of women empowerment. However, not every woman in the country bought Winfrey's lies on the Hollywood stage and had been calling her out on her blatant hypocrisy. Now one of Bill Clinton's rape victims has joined in on the chorus of calling Winfrey to the mat and delivered a knockout blow to the talk show queen. Oprah Winfrey has touted herself as a champion for women and minority causes aligning herself with liberal elitists like Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. Oprah has always been a favorite of the left since she parrots the talking points they want her to say and lulls the modern housewife into voting for progressive agendas under the guise of empowerment. Though not all women in America feel this way about Oprah after discovering she helped Harvey Weinstein in procuring uh, potential victims for him to abuse. And it is important to note that Weinstein is not the only rapist Winfrey has buddied up with, too. Uh, Oprah is a longtime supporter of the Clintons, and we, as we all know, Slick Willie has a long history of sexual sexually assaulting women, and one of those victims is speaking out. Here is more from Fox News. Juanita Broderick, the now 75-year-old retired nurse, has alleged former President Bill Clinton raped her during his 1978 campaign for Arkansas governor. Uh, and that his wife, Hillary Clinton, helped him cover it up. She brought the allegations to the celebrated media titan's attention. Hey, at Oprah, hashtag Golden Globes, tweeted Broderick's, uh, Broderick Monday. Funny, I've never heard you mention you, my name. Can you hear me now? Guess not. My rapist slash is your friend, Bill Clinton. Absolutely. Broderick also pointed out to a 2004 interview. The 63-year-old talk show host conducted the 71-year-old uh, former president. Um, when uh, Winfrey questioned uh, Clinton about his sexual scandal involving former White House intern Monica Lewinsky, she simply asked, what was the most difficult part of that time for you? Isn't that precious? She's asking Hillary or something. Remember this at Oprah? You've had so many opportunities to bring up my allegations, which have never been discredited. Why? Remember this at Oprah? She tweeted, you've had so many opportunities to bring up my allegations, which uh, have never been discredited. Why? The Washington Post reported in 1999 that Broderick, who was described in government documents as Jane Doe number five, said she chose to stay silent about her allegations because she was hoping the horrific memory would disappear with time. It was a horrible, horrible experience, and I just wanted it to go away, she claimed at the time. Broderick also revealed she chose to come forward with her story because there was so much misinformation out there. The Clinton legal team denied Broderick's allegation to the publication, calling it false and outrageous. Any allegation that the president assaulted Ms. Broderick more than 20 years ago is absolutely false. Clinton's personal attorney, David E. Kendall, said in a statement released by the White House in 1999, beyond that, we are not going to comment. Earlier this year, Broderick published a book titled, You Better Put Some Ice on That, How I Survived Being Raped by Bill Clinton. Winfrey, who was the recipient of the Golden Globe's annual Cecil B. DeMille Award for Lifetime Achievement, 
gave a passionate speech during the ceremony where she stressed the importance of women speaking their truth and sharing their stories of being abused and assaulted in the workplace. Listen, if the left wants to prop Oprah up as a potential presidential candidate, framing her as a person with high morals and stands for women empowerment, then let's be honest about her. Oprah is nothing more than a high-powered madam that facilitates women for the sick perverts hiding in plain sight in Hollywood and political circles. Though if you tried to say this to the average Oprah Winfrey fan, they would dismiss you as someone that is a racist and a sexist. Does Oprah stand a chance against President Trump? Not really, but she does have the power to create more issues for Trump, who is already battling multiple fronts. Let's, uh, let us hope that more people wake up and smell the liberal hypocrisy before it's too late. Yes, absolutely true. Absolutely true. Yeah, because Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton, yeah, yeah, she's for empowering women. They all knew what was going on. Give me a break. She stands for women. She stands for nobody but herself. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.